Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and welcome back to the world of custom solar systems. So right now we are in our realistic coloured solar system which we built um, a few videos back. So if we just get a lineup of all the guys here. Yeah, this is a simulation designed to um, reflect the more realistic appearances um, of the planets. So also you've got the Jupiter there. It's red spots upside down. We can't really really do anything about that there. But um, yeah, we've got the Jupiter. We've got the Saturn, which is the same. We've got Uranus and Neptune, which have also got custom variants to try and go for a more realistic style. And then um, Mars and Mercury as well also are going for that sort of look. And um, then we do have Venus and Earth. Um, obviously Venus. Um, it's... Um, it's really opinionated if you want to go, if you want to say this is realistic or not, and then Earth is pretty much the same as always. We've got Planet Nine, um, which is also the same as always in the um, simulations I've got as well. But this was all due to a data loss I had when I went back to an older version of the game, um, and then it deleted all of my um, all of my save files and, and stuff like that. So I did actually lose. I actually lost all of my custom objects, my simulations, and yeah, I lost my poor old enhanced coloured solar system and my realistic ones. That's why I rebuilt this simulation last video, or a couple of videos back actually, that's why I rebuilt this. But yeah, I still don't have a rebuilt version of my enhanced system. So luckily I've got the objects saved, I did have those backed up, but the simulation I didn't unfortunately. So what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be heading out of the um, chart mode for a start. And then we are going to um, begin rebuilding this into the enhanced version as well. But before we begin, guys, make sure to um, hit that subscribe button. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers. That really, really means the world. It's amazing with all the support you guys are giving you. Yeah, if you want to keep up to date, make sure to click that button and hit the bell if you want to get notifications for that as well. But yeah, now that's out of the way, let's begin. So, on to the enhanced version of the... Um, colored solar system now or the custom solar system i should say so we're gonna head to mercury to begin with and yeah with mercury it was the same in both simulations so we're not going to be making any adjustments to this but if you want to get a quote a close look at it quickly this is it here so it's a um, regular mercury texture but it's been tinted and grayed out um, to reflect the more real um, sort of look to it so mercury complete the same we're not going to be touching that it's got its trail color that which is completely fine then onto the same with venus it's the same deal with venus really not really too much we need to be doing here i, I think that venus is perfectly fine the way it is i don't know why it's temperature so low it's probably just because we're in a safe simulation earth as well no changes are needed there and then again with mars honestly although we are going for an enhanced um colored version i don't think i don't think any of the inner planets really need any adjustments whatsoever i mean i think their trails are fine i guess actually i think what i am going to do i'm going to slightly enhance the colors of the trails so i'm just gonna just give them a sort of um color boost just to make them a little more intense as we are going for a more um crazy sort of enhanced version here and then mars i'm gonna make it a tad more red so it's different from venus mercury is gray we're not it's not i mean i can make it a little more i don't want to make it white though as it'll look like um some of the um outer objects yeah mercury is completely fine we've got venus earth mars they're all slightly enhanced now then moving on to the asteroid belt i am going to keep the um asteroids gray as well they're not going to change but Ceres i am going to give you a slight boost in your blue so we're gonna just give it a slight just so it's a little more notable then heading on to jupiter now so again with jupiter it doesn't need any um, changes there it's very laggy when you open its menu due to all those bands but yeah we do need to get into that menu to access the color settings so we just have to give it time so we have to scroll all the way down all the way through the bands here so if we go all the way to the bottom there then we've got interface color so i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a slight um change it when it just give you a little more orange so there we go so jupiter's got that slightly more orange it's different to venus though um still there so there is um jupiter yes very very crazy when you try and open that now moving on to saturn again what i'm going to do with you is we're not going to change any band colors but i'm going to i'm going to give you a more yellow i'm going to make your trail look a little more yellow i do i, I think it does look quite cool um with the sort of race yellow sort of look to it so that's what i'm going to go with there so enhanced for saturn so that's looking after i'm already liking the way this is looking already but now moving on to uranus this is where we get a little more um customization going on as with uranus yeah i'm going to give your little your blue here i'm going to because it's very very pale and bland i'm going to give you a slight boost with the blue so we're gonna we're gonna end up with um something a little more like this so it's a little more um on a directional light here so there it is now, and then before it looked more like that. So we're giving it a nice increase with the colour. Um, so we've got um, a much more nicer looking blue there now. So there we go there. And then trail colour, again with you, we are going to zoom out just so we can get a look at the whole orbit. 
So there we go. Let's just close that. All right, there we go. So zoom out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also do the same with that. So we're going to really, really enhance that um, sort of cyan blue we've got going on there. So that is um, giving us that for Uranus now. So there we go there. And now before we head on to good old Neptune, I'm actually going to head to the two like asteroid objects in between Saturn and Uranus's objects. So we've got Chiron here and then we've got um, Charico over there. Still can never say that one right. But yeah, we have got this one. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go with a more interesting... I'm going to go with a very, very sort of darkened green. I'm going to, I'm going to go with that. So it's a very, very dark. You can't see it. But yeah, I just want to, I want to have some, I want to have a green. We don't have any green ones. I want to have like a slight pale. I guess we can have like a grayish green just so it's not too green, but sort of a military sort of green almost. But I want to, I want to go with something like that. So then um, I need to, so the exact color. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to replicate that exactly the same here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it as best I can. So there we go. So something. So just trying to get it similar. So. So something like that. That's that's practically um practically what uh, or practically the same there. So we've got it doesn't matter if they're slightly different anyway. But yeah, I've got a dark green for both of those guys, just so they're a little different because obviously they're not part of the asteroid belt. They're not part of the Kuiper belt. They're just their own things to chill in in the Saturn and Uranus area quite an empty area um, right there in this simulation right now those guys are done we're going to head over to good old Neptune now and we're going to get a complete object replacement for this as this is the realistic version of Neptune obviously so we, we need to do something about that because that is not going to fit um, in this enhanced version so what I'm going to do here is still looks great don't get me wrong but we're going to replace and then we're going to search up the um, enhanced Neptune which is one of my favorite custom objects so we're going to go ahead search up Neptune just need to find the correct one i believe it's this object here i want so i'm going to do that replace it and then that should spawn in our yeah the beautiful modded neptune here so there we go and then obviously we want to name it neptune so there we go let's just go ahead and do that so there we go yes look at that so that is looking very very beautiful as always um very very enhanced in the blue obviously completely unrealistic no no, no similarities it's just ultra ultra blue here if we look on um directional light there's a good look at it so just the beautiful blue we've got some lighter blue bands in there just to show off like the white sort of cloud it's got going on there i'll see some darker areas as well just a all just a completely all out custom neptune and also with the dim light of the sun i think it does look really really cool so yeah there is our custom neptune i'll see with this guy as well i believe it is going to need a trail change as there is no trail even to um, look at at the moment so we need to just slow down time we need to click play so it registers it there we go and also right now it's got a very very bland blue trail so what we're going to do with you is we are going to simply head down here and we are going to go all out with the ultra ultra neptune blue color so there we go look at that yes look at that looking good so yeah there we go so that is all of the main planets done so i think next we're going to hop out to planet nine so right now here it is now with planet nine i've never actually made an enhanced version of it i mean we could try having a little experiment with it actually right now so here's planet nine so we're going to go to um obviously appearance now here are its colors what if we Gave him a slight boost. I'm not going to go over the top here, but we can always replace it if it goes wrong. But I'm going to give you a slight boost in color. So what would what would Planet Nine look like if we boosted its color a bit, just to just to enhance it? Because I I think I do think the regular Planet Nine is quite dark. So we're going to give it a slight increase there. So that's what we've got now. It still looks pretty much the same. I mean, we could give it a real. I mean, if we was going to go all out, we'd we'd end up with this. And yeah, that that I don't like that. So if we do Control Z, that should undo it. No, you're not going to undo. It. So we just have to sort of manually um, pull it back. So just pull it back to where it was. So yeah, Planet Nine. I'm not really seeing. I, I just think it's fine the way it is. I I don't. I think an enhanced version sort of ruins it. So I have to say. And so yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep Planet Nine just the good old way it is. I I don't think any changes um, need doing to that. So if we just find it. So there we go. That should be the correct one. So we just head, go ahead, re-add our good old one there. Um, and then we just click play so it registers its orbit again and then um, we will with the orbit we can give it a slight bo uh, boost so we just zoom out again a lot of zooming out it doesn't let me zoom out in that menu so there we go so it's just, uh, just 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 a tiny boost we're not going to make it too too um, vibrant but there we go we're just giving it a slight boost and color there a little brighter so that's our planet nine orbit and then we're going to head back in again so here we got sedna now sedna Whenever you see it in diagrams, it's always represented with a red trail color normally. So Sedna's fine. Again, with the goblin, I like the yellow. It's already got that's the color um, I use to represent it. Far out, it's got its pink. That's fine as well. I'm not 
no plans to change that. So now we're going to head all the way back into the Neptune Pluto area as we're going to head up to Pluto now. So yeah, no texture change need for Pluto, but um, interface color. Now, from a lot of diagrams I've seen over the years, a lot of the Kuiper Belt objects and Pluto as well, they're usually represented in a purple. And since we're going for quite a vibrant color sort of um in this simulation i'm going to represent pluto with a deep purple i think that does look quite good after neptune and yeah like i said in, in a lot of diagrams i've seen pluto has always had um a purple i don't know if it's just me but i've always seen pluto represented in a shade of purple so yeah there we go so now we've got our purple trail pluto and i think it does look pretty cool after the, the gorgeous blue that neptune has there so there we go that's our pluto and then with the rest of the kuiper belt objects i'm also going to sort of follow the same sort of thing as pluto but we're not, they're not going to be as strong i'm going to have more like grayish versions of purple so they're all going to um, be changed now i may edit this um slightly myself as well just to get them the exact same color but just an example for now I'm going to just give them all dim versions, just dimmer versions of purple. Since they're less like, obviously Pluto is the main the main guy out in the um, Kuiper Belt area. So Pluto gets the most vibrant color. But with the less known objects, I'm going to, yeah, those guys are going to get a slightly darkened purple. It's quite, quite a different shade of purple. Yeah, I'm going to give them a slightly different tone. Since the asteroid belts are already got gray covered, I'm going to give these guys a dark purple. Just to um, differentiate them from the um, asteroid belts. So there we go. And then obviously the two guys in between Saturn and Uranus, they've got their shade of green. These guys got their shade of purple, which I think is quite cool. So there is a few that I'm not going to change, though. So we'll get onto those shortly. But yeah, with these guys, we're going to just um, make them purple. And I think, I think that's looking really good already there. So yeah, there we go. And I think this is the last one we need doing. So let's just go ahead and then um, do that. So there we go. That's purple for all of the main guys. But now you can see there is a few I've left out. So where are we here? I think there's one I want to change. So which one is it? Oh yeah, here it is. So I want to I want to get this one um, changed into that shade of purple as well. So there we go. So they're all dark and purple, pretty much all the same shade right now. Then we've got our Pluto in the brighter purple there. But now what I'm going to do is you can see I've left Iris. Iris is literally is a complete white version of Pluto. Look, you can see the texture is exactly the same. It's just a frozen over. Um, or a white version of Pluto with a texture and then I've put a layer of water on it to freeze it up So it's a really really pale white looking version of Pluto and I think it looks really cool like that And that has got its white trail which I've always represented it with in the realistic and the enhanced version So Iris is staying the same with its white trail and now moving on to a make make or make make however you want to say it so this one, like Sedna, I've always usually seen it with like a, not as red as Sedna, but it's always had that sort of reddish sort of colour. So that's what I want to represent with. Not as intense as Sedna, um, and it's not the same shade as Mars either. You can see, um, we can see the Mars there has got a lot more of an orangey red. This has got more of a palish pinkish red there, because since um, I believe they, I believe Make Make is thought to have like a, like Sedna is quite a reddish object. I think mine's a little too red there, but I believe this object as well was supposed to have sort of a red sort of mix into its surface there. So sort of like um, Pluto's like brownish areas, I think they're sort of the relatively the same thing. I think they're called Follins, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there are those. Anyone, someone correct me if I'm wrong there um, with the Follins, but um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm leaving that with its sort of reddish color. So we've got our sort of main set of um, Kuiper Belt objects now. So we've got Pluto, Make Make, Make Make, um, we've got Iris, Sedna, Planet Nine, I mean, I don't think you'd consider that a Kuiper Belt object, then we've got the Goblin all the way out there, so there are sort of major outer solar system objects, and then all of the less known ones, which we don't really mention much, like Orcus here, for example, those have got that darker shade of purple, so they're still visible, but they've got a slightly um, darker shade there, and I have not changed this one for some reason, so we'll just quickly go ahead and give that the shade of purple as well, but yeah, there we go, so they've got their sort of darkened shade, we've got the Asteroid Belt with the greyish um, colour there, we've got Ceres with its unique blue, as it's the major object in there, um, and then obviously out here we've got Pluto, Iris, and all of those guys with their sort of unique colours as well, to sort of differentiate them from the rest of the Kuiper Belt there, and then obviously Pluto with its um, very, very cool shade of purple here, really, really like the way um, this one looks, I have to say, so just getting that right shade, that may make it a little more magenta-like actually, there we go, so maybe something like that, just to make it a little more different from the purple ones, but yeah, there we go, so that's the Pluto done, and then that's the um, whole system now, I believe. So if we get a lineup of the system now, so we can see straight away, we have got a way, way, way more enhanced 
um, set of objects going on here. So if we just, yeah, we're on, we're on that. So there we go. So obviously the biggest differences are obviously Uranus and Neptune here. Those have just gone all out with color. Very, very bright and beautiful looking now there. So yeah, there are those guys. Planet 9 still has no changes. I just I just think it's fine the way. I, I, I don't see a need to change Planet 9. I think it's cool. Obviously Venus, you could already argue, is quite enhanced. Um, Earth though... Let's get. Let's actually. I want to. I want to head back to Earth. Maybe. Maybe we could give Earth just a slight boost. Just make it a little more pretty. Obviously, we're not going for realism here, so we can be a little more experimental. But there's Earth right now. What if we? So interface is fine, but atmosphere. What if we give it a slight more bluish blue? I mean, we, just a, just a slight change. We're not going extreme here, but just just a just an enhanced sort of bluish. Maybe that's a little too. Maybe we'll head back to a little more. That's that's too sort of cyan blue. I mean, you could really really make this unique if you wanted but i do want to keep it still in the correct color just a slightly more enhanced version. so maybe a blue like that's a little i mean you could probably make quite a good looking um realistic earth just try and experiment around with this but i'm going to go with a slightly more so usually earth would be around here somewhere and we can, we can always change the atmosphere color back to the default so that's what it normally looks like but if we go to our custom again you can see it's it's got that slight bonus with the blue, the shade of blue there. So just a slight increase in the um, color. So again, there's a comparison. So that that is a custom earth there. And yeah, just a, just a slight increase on the blue. I think I'm going to roll with that. And obviously the trail color, I think, is already good looking um, right there. Obviously, it's a different shade of blue to good old Neptune out here. It's a lot more of a bluish blue. That's going with like the deep, dark sort of Neptune blue shade. This one's going for a more, more of a regular sort of blue. I mean, the interface, we could make it change a bit I mean, we could make it a bit more of a lighter blue i mean what does that look? i think that looks quite good actually but maybe just a just a tad bit more to the deeper blue there so yes we got our we got our regular blue and then the deep blue would be the shade that neptune has there um but yeah there we go so there are those i think mars i give you a slight i think you're looking a little too orange still so i'm gonna give you a slight increase to the red so I don't want to make it look like Venus, so making it more red is good. But yeah, there we go. So now that's definitely a, a nice sort of red-looking trail there. Obviously not as red as good old Sedna out here, but I think that red is still quite a good um, shade for um, good old Mars there. And then Mercury, no changes needed at all. That's the one we've least changed. Venus as well. I mean, I might give you a, just a slight more of that orange shade there. I don't want to make it look too much like Jupiter or Saturn, so we've got to be careful there. So right now there's Venus. You can see it's definitely different to Jupiter and Saturn. The closest one... Is Jupiter in similarity, but it's definitely got more of a yellow color to it than Jupiter, which is more of an orange brownish shade. Obviously, Saturn is the yellow um, out here, but it's not, it's a little more pale than um, Goblin out there as well. But yeah, there we go. So that has done it for my enhanced custom solar system now. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below um, in the comments here. Um, on this but i think i've i think i'm i think i've done a good job here in my opinion i think this is i think this is looking good for the enhanced version let me know what you think of the purple trail colors i think that's the biggest change that noticeable change other than having the enhanced versions of the trail colors of the main planets i think the purple kuiper belt objects i think they look quite cool i have to say and it makes it a little less dull looking which is what we want so yeah that um let me know what you think on that below i think that does look really really cool and i think one last change I just want to see what this looks like with Pascal here. If anyone knows, I have a custom green planet called Pascal. What would this look like if we made it green? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a little too... Yeah, I, I, that doesn't fit, does it? So we'll just put that back to where it is. But I just want to see what it looks like. But um, yeah, there we go. So reset to the sun. I definitely want to go ahead and save this now. So we've got um, we've got our realistic 2.0. So now we're going to put this as the enhanced. So there we go. So our enhanced 2.0 now. I need to change those thumbnails. It's still got the thumbnail of what it used to be anyway, but yeah, we did lose that. So enhanced, done. There we go. So that is our enhanced system. And I'm yeah, I'm happy with this. So yeah, let me know what you guys um, think of this um, down below in the comments. Any, any feedback is welcome. If there's anything you think I've missed or need changing, also let me know on that as well. I'd be appreciated um, for any, um, yeah, just any feedback in general constructive criticism as well all welcome let me know what you think and yeah if you like this video let's see if we can go for 40 likes a day for the very very color enhanced version of the solar system here not just with the planets but with the trails as well i think they look really really cool there and yeah that is everything guys so make sure to subscribe if new helps on journey to 13,000 subscribers a massive thanks for everyone who comes back to all the videos uh, and can continues to watch um, on a regular basis as well a massive thank you to all of you and yeah that is everything so make sure you all have a great day guys and yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye